Did you know that you can communicate with ants? Well, I'll let that sink in for you folks. I would never have believed it either until I went on an incredible journey. So it started. Um, I got into the world of energy and I ended up going to a place in Scotland called Fintorn. And at that time, I was sort of 50-50 on all of this energy stuff. But in Finhorn, they were very much about communicating with the nature spirits and communicating with nature. And they introduced something that I'd never actually thought of before. Whenever they were going to mow the lawns or do anything like that, they used to, the day before, they used to sit there and they used to send energy. They used to let nature know energetically that they were going to disrupt it the next day as a way to let all of the insects and mini beasts that would be on the lawns and the gardens give them a chance to get out of the way. Now that might seem completely over the top to you at the moment and that's okay because that's exactly where I was when this was introduced to me. So I absolutely get it if that's what you're thinking at the moment. So let's fast forward. I thought well do you know what I've got nothing to lose just doing this and if it works it works and if it doesn't it doesn't. What difference does it make if I'm going to mow the lawn? I'll go out a week, I'll go out a, a day before, or sometimes two days, and let them know. I just, just, I don't talk, I just send out energy. I'm just thinking, I'm going to mow the lawn in a couple of days and clear, get out of the way, clear the boundaries, folks. So I used to send that out. Now, to take this to another level, I used to frequently get ant infestations in the houses that I lived in. And it happened to me in the UK, but this was really pronounced when I went to Australia. I was staying in a house where I only had to drop a crumb or a bit of jam or something, and within 20 minutes, there'd be a row of ants coming in, absolutely invading the house. And this used to frustrate me because I don't like killing anything. So when I was stepping on ants, albeit accidentally, and realizing that the whole place was infested, I thought, let's try it. So I sat down and I said, I had a communication. I was thinking to the ants, look, leave the house alone. The house is mine. This is my space, stay out of that. And anything surrounding it is yours. You're welcome to do what you will outside. You know, you're very welcome to be part of these surroundings, but please stay out of the house. Now that probably sounds completely whacked out to you. But when I suddenly went a week and I hadn't seen a single ant in the house, I started to think, hang on, hang on. And that started a journey that's brought me here 25 years later and I absolutely believe it. Um, every time I've seen ants um, going into places that I didn't want them to go, I just send energy to them. I make agreements with them. I tell them where they can go and where I'd rather they didn't and it works. And I'm not telling you to believe any of this because I wouldn't have believed it if someone had said this to me. I'd say, do it, do it. You sit down, this is how I do it. I'm sure there's other ways, but I create an energy grid inside the house and that's my space and I energize it. And I'm like, ants, please stay out of my, my zone, stay out of my space here. You know, this is mine and everything outside I'm like that's fair game you're very welcome you know I'm, I'm always friendly with the ants I'm always like it's all we can all live here um, I just rather that you left my space to me and it has for me a hundred percent success rate in the 25 years since I've been doing this so there you go folks don't take my word for it give it a go and see how it works for you and I would love to get your comments in this thread based on you giving it a go first so there you go do it first and then comment